Hi, this video is about hashing technique. Hashing technique is useful for searching purpose. Now before going to hashing, let us quickly look at some of the known searching techniques. Here is linear search. In this, the elements must be arranged in an array randomly not in any order and the time for searching is order of n for searching any element we start looking for the element from the left hand side of an array towards the right hand side means we'll start from the beginning index and the time is order of n second search method is binary search in this the elements must be in the ascending order sorted order kept in a list kept in an array and we always look for an element in the middle of a list and if the element is larger we go on right side if it is smaller we go on left hand side so the time for searching is order of log n so important thing is the arrangement of elements in a linear search can be random but in binary search it must be in the sorted order and the time complexity for linear search is order of n and binary search improves the search method and make it faster and it is order of log n but one requisite here is that the elements must be sorted so we have to spend some extra time in sorting the elements okay now we want a search method which takes just constant time so from n we have moved to log n and from log n we want to move on to order of 1 so this is the requirement which introduces hashing technique so let us see hashing in hashing technique if a list of elements are given and an array space is given where we have to list store the list of elements then we store the element upon its own index we take the value of an element itself as the index and we store it at same index so 8 is stored at 8 and 3 it is made as index and it is stored at location 3 so on Now, when we want to search for any key element, let us say 10, then we directly go to index 10 and see if the element is present or not. If we want to search for key element 12, then we directly go to index 12 and see element is present or not. So 12 is not found. So the search time is order of 1. Directly we have to go to that index and look for the element. But the problem is, if I have one more element that is 50 then we have to store it at index 50 which which may be far away so here for storing this 50 we should have an index 50 in the array so a lot of space is wasted in this method if we want to reduce the time then we may have to waste a lot of memory just for few elements we need a very large size array where most of the spaces are vacant to improve this technique or to improve this basic idea we adopt a mathematical model we design a mathematical model for hashing based on functions so let us see next how it is modeled using mathematic mathematically the list of elements what we have we call them as key space and the place where we have to store them we call it as hash table and we say that there is some function say h of x equal to x which is mapping these elements from key space to hash table so h of 8 is 8 so this 8 will be stored at index 8 and same way 3 is stored at 3 13 h of 13 is 13 so it is stored at 13 index 13 So we say that h of x equal to x is a hash function which is mapping these key elements from key space to hash table and this we take it as an ideal hash function. So this is the same case we have seen just now and we have just made it in the mathematical form. Now in this if I have an index 50 
then I should have a, if I have a key element 50 then I should have an index 50 in an array so I should have a very lengthy hash table again the problem is same that a lot of space is wasted so if we see the properties of functions there are two types of functions one to one function and many to one function these are the two type of cardinalities followed by functions and h of x equal to x is a one to one function if we take any other function other than h of x equal to x it may be many to one function but also it depends on the keys or the hash table size so but mostly it will be many to one function now we say that here this function is responsible for mapping the elements to their indices so we should modify the function to efficiently utilize the space in hash table so we we will try to modify the function so here it we take here we take hash function h of x equal to x mod this is the size of hash table Ten is the size of the hash table so now we will take a hash table size as 10 as an example I am taking the size as 10 here size can be a, we can take a hash table of any size so hash function I am taking it as h of x equal to x mod size and the size is 10 now let us map the elements 8 8 mod 10 gives me 8 so 8 is stored here 3 mod 10 is a 3 so it is stored here 13 mod 10 is also 3 so oh, this is a collision so this is causing collision now the problem is when you change the hash function then there is a possibility that two or more elements are mapped at the same index and that is called as collision now we have to resolve this collision we have to solve this problem there are different methods for avoiding collision for avoiding collision or for removing collusion we have different methods that is open hashing under that is chaining and next is close hashing under that we have linear probing and quadratic probing let us look at them one by one first method for resolving collusion is chaining in this method when we map any key using same hash function hash function is same when we map it it will be mapped at 8 so we will not store the element in the hash table itself but at it, this index we will add a new chain and in that we will insert the element chain is nothing but a linked list 3 is mapped here so we will add a node to a chain and insert 3 13 is also mapped here so we'll add a new node and there we will insert 13 so when there is a collision we will insert a key element at the same index in a chain right so all these elements are inserted into their indices inside a chain now when I want to search for any key element let us say 13 then I should use hash function h of 13 is 13 mod size that is 3 13 mod 10 gives me 3 so go to index 3 and search for that element key element in a chain at that particular index so there may be more than one element so we have to search that entire chain entire linked list so that's how now the time complexity of hashing will not be order of 1 it will be more than 1 but it will be better than log n it will be faster than log n now let us look at other methods let us look at next method linear probing in this hash function is h of x equals x mod 
size same hash function I am taking 8 is mapped at 8 3 is mapped at 3 13 is also mapped at same location but there is a collision so we store it at next location 13 so in this method we simply find the next free space and store the element in next free space so what is this approach we should give the reasoning in mathematically so here there's the explanation our actual hash function is x mod size we define a new hash function h dash of x that is h of x plus f of i mod size and f of i is equals to i where i takes values 0 or 1 or 2 or so on now when we use 13 and we have to insert 13 then we say h of 13 plus f of 0 mod 10 this gives us 3 but there is a collision so next we use the same hash function for a different value of i and find f of 1 mod 10 so we got the answer as 4 so that's how the value is stored at location 4 index 4 so we use this h dash x as a hash function and we store the element if there is a collision then we check, take the next value of i even if there is a collision again then we take the next value of i and so on now let us insert the rest of the elements 6 is stored at 6 and 4 there is a collision already some element is there so we store it at next place and 10 is stored here now when I have to search for any key element let us say I am searching for 4 then I should use this hash function h of x equal to x mod size go to that place 4 but the element is not present there then I should look at the next location that is 4 yes it is found here so it is found at index 5 so it means by using the hash function I should go to the index and start looking for the element in the consecutive locations if I have a key element if I have to search for key element 24 then 24 mod 10 gives me index 4 when I go to index 4 24 is not present then I should move to next location it's not present next location not present next location is empty so I should stop and say that 24 is not found so I can say that for searching any key element we should use hash function go to that particular index and start searching for the element until the element is found or empty space is reached this is the method for searching and again the time complexity will not be order of 1 it will be more than 1 but it will be better than log n now the problem in linear probing is it causes clustering of element a bunch of elements will be at one single place at consecutive location they will be allocated continuously so this may cause a lot of time for searching any element so to avoid the clustering of elements we introduce quadratic probing quadratic probing so this is same as linear probing where if I take the hash function then for this also we define a new function h dash of x it is h of x plus f of i mod size but f of i is i square i takes the value 0 1 2 and so on so it's not f of i is not equal to i f of i is equals to i square so the difference between linear probing is in linear probing 
a linear probing f of i is equals to i we take here but in quadratic probing f of i is equals to i square we take that is the difference now when we try to map the key element 8 is stored here 3 same place 13 for i as 0 there is a collision so for i as 1 it will be stored at next location the next is 23 so let us find out for 23 h of 23 plus f of 0 mod 10 this gives 3 there is a collision at location 3 there is a collision then h of 23 h of 23 plus f of 1 mod 10 so this is 3 plus 1 mod 10 is 4 at 4 also there is a collision then we find 23 h of 23 plus f of 2 mod 10 so this is 3 plus f of 2 is 4 mod 10 is a 7 so this 23 there is a collision here so it is stored at index 7 now you can see that the element is kept few locations away it's not very close to the elements which are getting collusion with 23 so there is a gap in between the elements so this will take this will avoid clustering of elements and improves the searching time. Hope you have understood hashing. Thank you for watching this video.